takes the weekend why it's the weekend why It's the weekend wine. It's the weekend wine. G3, G3, G3. What's going on, my beautiful G3 family? Welcome back to God is Guided. And to all my new viewers, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to God is Guidance. My name is Jasmine, but you can call me the Lemurian Goddess. And I'm here to bring you guys the weekend wine. So come on, give your girl a like, share, and subscribe. Join the G3 family. Listen, if you're all about elevation, growth, promotion, ascension, maybe this is where you need to be. It just is what it is, okay? Um, if you're looking to book with your sis, all of that information is down below. And thank you to everybody who is booking and also to everybody who is donating to Goddess Guidance, keeping the lights on, because maybe this is what I do. You know what I'm saying? So thank you for the energy exchange. And if you are looking to donate, Donate to your sis, donate to the movement. All of that information is down below. Thank you guys in advance. Now, let's tap into this energy, this weekend wine. G3, this is, this is deep. This is real deep. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> I didn't think that we were going there, but we're going there. We're going there, okay? The divine feminine that is here with you is Mary Magdalene. Okay, the apostle to the apostles, I am the bridge between heaven and earth. I am fully human and fully divine. But when I saw Mary Magdalene, I thought about the Da Vinci Code. Okay, I thought about how, you know, the, the Holy Grail, uh, they talk about how that's the like the space between Mary Magdalene and Jesus on the uh, on the um, on the picture with the twelve disciples and you know the, the Last Supper. Yeah, the picture of the Last Supper. So they have Jesus on one side and Mary on the other side. But the real picture is them together. Okay, that's what that's that's what they say. You know what I'm saying? You know, listen, listen, don't. Boop. Shoot the best job. Just you know, this is what they say. So they say that that. So when you look at the picture, it draws like a, a cup, and they say like that's the holy grail. The holy grail is that these two energies were together; they were not apart. Okay, and the the truth of the matter is, uh, Mary Magdalene was supposed to carry on what Jesus Christ started right now you know studies show that you know these stories have been turned around and you know it's, it's a lot it's a lot going on with these stories so what i'm seeing is or what i what i got was jesus christ <laughs> so now i get two other cards right from my angels guides and goddesses deck an angel of families came out the angels surround both you and your family at the moment. Goddess of nature came out. You reap what you sow. Your dream is coming to fruition. So I'm sitting here, right? Before I, because I'm still, you know, tapping into the energy, seeing what's going on. I hear the rise of an ancient order, right? And I'm like, what? Okay. And then I heard daughters of the water. So then I start, I look at the car and look at these, these girls in the water. <laughs> so I'm like, the daughters of the water. That's the ancient order or something. You know what I'm saying? I, listen, listen, G3. Okay, you rocking, you rocking, we rolling. Let's go. <laughs> so then I heard Mami Wata, right? So I wrote this down. So I wrote this down. So I had to pull on, you know, I get three other cards to, you know, just to, pull on the overall energy and see what's going on, right? Time came out. This is after I got this. Time came out. Ancient time, something back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Time came out. The unk came out. That's divine, that's divine feminine energy, right? 
that's the all, the all power, okay? And then the flower of life, that's creation, right? That's creation. So something is being created. The divine feminine is something about this divine feminine or an ancient order of females because they say that Jesus was a female, wasn't a man. <laughs> you know, they get scared when you start talking when you start talking about the power of the of the woman, of the womb man. They don't they don't they don't they don't want that story to be out, but do your research, okay? So this could have been it could have been 12 females. You know what I'm saying? It could have been like, you know, I, like I, listen. Listen. <laughs> All I know is that this ancient order is, is awakening or coming. These daughters of the water. It's, and they all tapped into Mami Wata. Now, 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 now. Mami Wata. Or, or you can call her Mamba Muntu. I hope I'm saying it right. Muntu. Or Water Mother. Or La Sarin. The Siren. She's a water spirit. Right? Mama Water is venerated throughout Africa and the African diaspora as a being of great spiritual power who was associated with wealth, health, love, and good fortune. She can be bene benef beneficial, uh, beneficial, beneficent, or malevolent, malevolent, I don't know, depending on the obedience of her followers. She can shower them with good luck or drown them for insolence, right? So I feel like, and then, you know, I'm put, you know, shuffling the cards at the bottom of the deck, we have the Frolic Maiden. This was giving me Abiel, okay? You see, the, like, like she looked like she happy, like she got her legs, right? It's something about these mermaids getting their legs, okay? These daughters of the water getting their legs, all right? It's something about spirit guides. Somebody here is really, I don't know if the water is calling you. You need to drink more water. You need to tap into the I don't know what's going to Take spiritual bath, sit in the water, take long showers, get a real steamy in there. This is what I heard. That's what they just said. Get a real steamy in there, okay? This is what I just heard. <laughs> So at the end of the day, it's something about you and the water. Something about you and because these daughters of the water, I, listen, I don't know how many daughters they are. Okay, it's three on this card. Then there's Mary Magdalene, then there's the goddess of nature. So it's one, two, three, four, five females on, on, on this on this table right here. So I don't know if you know. Listen. <laughs> I don't know how this goes, but we're going to get deep into the energy. But I feel like Abiel is getting her legs. How many daughters does Zeus have? Oh, thank you, mother. They just gave me taken two. So, yeah, it's something about these daughters of the water. Okay? These daughters of the water. Zeus. Now, I was watching Taken last night. And, you know, I'm a, I'm a sucker. So, when it's all said and done, and, you know, the father got her, and she was just like, you came for me. Like, like you really... You really came for me. And 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 they were on the water. What? It was on the boat. It was on the water. So I feel like a boat, water, something could be significant with that. But whew, he said, I have a set of skills. <laughs> he said, I will find you. <laughs> and I will kill you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like. They were messing with the daughters of the water or something like that. 
and you've been rescued or something has been you've been saved from it's like they were trying to take these daughters of the water they was trying to take the energies or, or the they were trying to take the message from the daughters of the water my 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 i don't listen they was trying to take the legs see these daughters of the water have a mission. It's contracts. Ooh. <laughs> they said it's, it's, it's contracts. And I feel like it's contracts through relationships because wasn't she with Eric? Eric is very significant. I was just, oh my gosh, I'm telling you, that's the second. Yes. So somebody's name could be Eric. <laughs> somebody could have somebody's stepfather could be significant. Somebody's stepfather could be like that taken man. <laughs> What's his name? Something Nelson. Neiman Nelson. I don't know. Something like that. But yeah, so these females have to get. It's like they're, they're contracted for relationships. And, and, and I feel like somebody was trying to, or these people, it was like groups of people, or people was trying to knock the legs off of these daughters of the water. And then Zeus had to show up. <laughs> When Zeus was fighting Ursula, mm. other contracts with the water going on here. Oh, so this is why. What it say? Her followers, she can shower them with good luck or drown them for insolence. So it's like these people are about to be drowned. Be drowned in their emotions, littered with guilt, despair, grief, drowned for that insolence. Okay, now something else I was getting before we get into this energy, you know, tap into the, um, the cards. Somebody has a psycho ass ex girlfriend or ex boyfriend. Okay, they delusional as hell. This is what I, this is what they're telling me. Somebody refused to leave you alone physically, energetically, okay? I feel like it's something about the cops having to be involved or the, or the cops had to be involved. This could be a past situation, present, you know, future, however it goes. Something, something about cops being involved, okay? I'm also, they was also telling me about something about with, with sex trafficking and, and something about, you know, these, these people uh, are in schools. They are very close to the children. And, and I feel like that is changing. Something is, when people least expect it, that's when there's going to be raids, is what I'm hearing. So, <clears throat> let's get deep into this energy, G3. This is crazy. This is crazy. So, I feel like these daughters of the water are <laughs> fighting back. Or they don't even have to fight back because I feel like Zeus or, or Mommy Wata herself, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> had to step up and start drowning people. So people are being drowned out of your life because there is an ancient order arising within you. Oh, this shit, it's, oh my goodness, it's in everybody. The ancient order and, and, and not mm, it's awakening. Oh, Lemuria is rising. This is what's happening. Lemuria is awakening in, in people. And these daughters of the water are ushering in the awakening in the of, of Lemuria. Ah yeah yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. G3. Hold on. The daughters of the water. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, all of these daughters of the water are in isolation right now. If you're in isolation right now, it's for, it's for a good reason, okay? How many females are up? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold on, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, eight females up here. I was about to start counting again. <laughs> Lose your spot. <laughs> Look at those women. Look at those women. Look at those women. That's a whole different day. Over there minding this business. Look at those women. Something about these daughters of the water. And in these Eric's. Protectors of the land. No. Healers of the land and protectors of the sea. That's, what's, that's who's coming together. Healers of the land and protectors of the seas are coming together. So that's Ariel and Eric. Somebody named me Ariel. Reach out. I reach out my hand and my heart to connect to and unite to all of humanity. Yes, these daughters of the water are here to unite humanity. My, my, my. Look at them around the world. Look at them around the world. Look at them around the world. The healer. 1616 on the clock, G3. The healer. The healers of the land and the protectors of the sea. The healers of the of the of the land. So I feel like these daughters are reaching out to the healers of the lands, which which are it's it's Eric, right? These these divine masculine energies. So it's divine unions. It's like, I feel like the, the women, air element. So, oh, the healer. So these divine masculines are about to reach out. Something about a divine masculine is about to reach out, okay? This is what I'm getting. Some type of masculine energy is about to reach out. But something is so much deeper than my boyfriend. <laughs> my little boyfriend. <laughs> so much deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? This is not no childish shit I'm picking up on here. These are people that are here to unite humanity. This is, this is, this is big, this is big S right here. This is big shit. <laughs> okay? It's people coming together that are here, that are here to unite humanity. So this is, this is, and, and let me tell you, let me tell you, it's life and death for these people right now. This is why it's, it's so, the attack on the divine feminine the divine feminine that is awakening within all of us. The, that's what they are attacking. This is why it's really, you can't really take it personal. Don't take these attacks too personal. It's life or death for these people. They're no longer attacking you. They're attacking Mami Wata. They're attacking Zeus. They're attacking the universe. They're attacking, you know, the divine timeline and the divine plan. It's so much deeper than you. So don't take these attacks personal. This is, they're in survival mode. They're in survival mode. They're trying to survive. And the only way to survive in their eyes is to get rid of you. So it's people sending attacks. They want to take the legs of these daughters of the water. But you are fighting something bigger. These people are fighting something way bigger than the human vessel. So don't take these attacks personal. They're just trying to survive. <laughs> oh, G3, they just trying to survive. But you are 
tapped into a divine timeline. You are you if you have awakened a divine code within you. That was programmed at a certain time to awaken. Oh, you think <laughs> Angels surround these daughters of the water. The angels. They said the angels surround both you and your family at the, at the moment. Both you and these daughters of the water. They are surrounded by angels. It's so much deeper than the human vessel. They're doing magic on the human vessel. Ha! Integration. I combine body, mind, and soul to lift all of humanity into a new dimension. That's what these daughters of the water are here to do. Lift humanity into a new dimension. Something that only the daughters of the waters can do. transformation <laughs> I'm telling you something is something is happening with these daughters of the water something is happening in the energy I feel like they have been taken back it was like these daughters of the water they people had the the energies the of the daughters of the water it's like they they had they was like trying to block something block something that is coded what the what is wrong with people it's like the, I'm, I'm not talking to your average spiritual person i'm sorry i'm talking to people that know what is going on and know what they're behind the scenes doing and why i smell god complexes but will the real god please stand up that yeah what they're telling me moses <laughs> Uh, the story, you know, and just one, one story when they was in the wilderness and they was upset. They, well, they, they wanted to go back into slavery. They was mad. Moses, you said you'd promise us all of this and you got us this far. But, you know, when we was slaved up, at least we had food. You know what I'm saying? At least we had meat. You know what I'm saying? At least we had, you know, a little warmth, a little shelter or something. You know, you, you got us out here in this wilderness. We walking around. I feel like I've seen this shit already anyway. So how, so, you know, you trying, you telling me we not walking in circles, but that's what it feel like. I'm just saying. <laughs> Nobody else feel that way? Anyway, I, we not with it no more. You know what I'm saying? We going back. It's a wrap. <laughs> Moses was like, listen. He was sick of these people. He was sick of them. Uh, G3, yeah. You can be sick of people. <laughs> I'm sick of people. Yeah, yeah. You sick of these people, right? They don't... Disobedient. <laughs> these people are disobedient is what I'm hearing. But at the end of the day, the story goes... They wanted to leave, but Moses said, before you go, tomorrow morning, you know, you know, they saying, oh, you know, you know, he said, if God is on your side, you know, he'll swallow us up whole. And you know, y'all can go back, but if God is on my side, you know, the earth will swallow you guys up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? However, however it goes. So, you know, they was like, all right, we'll see. We'll see what goes down. Oh, I don't know if he said that the earth would. I don't know. I can't. But I remember reading this a while back. All right. This is what, and this is what they're bringing to my, to the forefront. So, <laughs> bear with me. But, you know, check it out yourself. I think it's an exodus. Anyway. Um. The next morning come around, 
they come outside, you know what I'm saying? Everybody on the other side with the, with the other people that want to go. It's a, it's, a, it's a bunch of them. They want to go, you know what I'm saying? And it's some people that, you know, stay, they, they was riding with Moses, you know what I'm saying? I'm riding with Moses, you know? God been showing himself thus far, you know? So, I'm riding with Moses. So, they want to side with Moses. God come through, swallow all those people up. <laughs> <laughs> the earth opened up and swallowed and swallowed all of them. Swallowed the, the cattle that they had over there. <laughs> swallowed the, the babies, the, the women, the everybody. Everybody went in there. <laughs> you don't listen. And that's what I feel like. That's that's the drowning. I feel like that's that's the father and taking coming to rescue the daughter. That's what that's what just happened. It's either ha it's either happened or happening. G three, it either happened already or it's happening. <laughs> and this is why it's like you know they want to stop this. They want to stop the integration. <coughs> they want to stop the transformation. But something is contracted with this ancient order. And these daughters of the wood. <clears throat> it's contracted. Solar plexus chakra. I take action daily and awaken my personal power. Every day, these, every day something, it's like these daughters of the wood are getting stronger, are getting their strength back. Every day, I feel like, yeah, Earth Angel, come on. Every day you're getting your strength back or you're powering up. Yeah, I, look, she got the earth in her hand. Exactly. I feel like, look, present now. So this is what's happening now. Crown chakra activation, okay? So I feel like something about your dreams are coming true or something your dream is within reach, okay? So you can give thanks because it's something about your dream being within reach and it's because of the great mother is what I'm hearing. Something about the great mother, all right? Um, every time I see this card now, I get like, <coughs> I see like that Wonder Woman seen and and look embrace change <coughs> <Come on, G3. coughs> they're trying to <coughs> trying to shut me up no 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 <coughs> mm -mm. <coughs> look at this exactly this is giving me the uh the scene in wonder woman <coughs> Where the, where the mother was like, you know, <clears throat> these men don't deserve you. You see, this, this is a woman. I'm telling you, something about the woman is awakening. <clears throat> Spirit awakens. I'm telling These daughters of the water. There's something going on with these daughters of the water. All right? And they have protection from these archangels. Archangel Raphael is here. Look at the mother. Look at like look at like look at this powerful feminine divine feminine energy that is awakening. But the last the that scene in Wonder Woman where the mother is like, okay, uh, you know these they, they don't deserve you. <clears throat> like the world of men don't deserve you. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause she and 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 Wonder Woman was the god killer. Ooh, that's what these see. Then I say god complexes. These daughters of the water are here to get rid of. The God complexes so humanity can ascend to a higher dimension. What it say? Yeah, to a new dimension, which is a higher dimension. Okay? She had to walk away from the mother. She had to go out into the world. She had to do what she was here to do. So I feel like it was something about maybe you was in, you know, it was like all of those attacks. It was, it was about training. You was really training with people. Okay? Remember how in Wonder Woman, when the, where the mother was like, "Oh, you know, train her the best. Don't, don't, don't hold back. <laughs> like, really go hard with her when, when it's time when for her training." So I feel like that's what it is. It's like these people were doing things, and it was really just training for you. It was really just training. But the thing about it is, it's like you come out of. It's time for you to to come out, and you know, it's like they don't. It's like they. Somebody is like these energies want it, don't want these daughters of the water to get into their position so they can raise the, the dimension, raise the the uh, consciousness or raise humanity to this new dimension. Hmm. 
Yeah, but you can give thanks. <clears throat> because your dreams are within reach right now. Your crown is like open something. Something is like your third eye is very like you you're being you and your higher self or you and it's something about integration. You your mind, body, and soul. Something about like alignment. You could be seeing um, 111 or 333, something about threes. 444s four here. I'm seeing, okay, as well. 34 is significant. 13 is significant. 44 is significant. 12 is significant. Okay, I'm January, January 2nd. Can be um, significant coming up for somebody. Uh, April 4th, January 3rd. Here's as well in March 4th. Somebody could be the life path. Three, a life path eight, a life path four, a life path seven, okay? Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, it's like, somebody feel, oh, I feel like somebody tried to to knock you knock you down, knock you, turn something around for you. Somebody, yeah, I feel like this is what I'm saying. They was trying to stop something, stop Ariel and Eric, stop Ariel from getting her legs, stop you know just the things that needed to happen. You know what I'm saying for the land and the seas. This is what I'm. This is what I'm picking up on. It's something about the land and the seas and the contrast that's going on, and it's so much deeper than it's like something spiritual here. You know what I'm saying? But it was just like energetically, somebody was trying to stop you from reaching your goal or reaching this moment in your life. You know, like I said, everything is on a divine timeline. So if you're not prepared or if you're not at a certain spot, it's like <clears throat> it's like somebody wanted you to miss your spot or somebody wanted to trick you out of your spot. But your spot is your spot. You are the Ariel. You are the, the protector of the, the, the land and the healer, the healer of the land and the protector of the sea. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, you know, what somebody wanted for you, it's, it, it happened to somebody else. It's like this guy, somebody had a God complex. And this is why somebody wanted to stop the daughters of the water. <clears throat> they wanted to stop the prophetess, the goddess. That's what they wanted to do. The all power? How you stop the how you stop the earth? How you stop the all power from creating? What? It's like the all power creates through you. <laughs> through my healers of the land and protectors of the sea. You G3. And somebody needed to stop that so they can remain on some type of fake ass throne. So they can seem like they were some type of king of pick somebody was is money this is what i'm picking up on here but this is why somebody's being drowned see they what is it they say money is connected to the water right so your money could either bring you great fortune what is what she say it can bring you good luck or your money could drown you. Somebody's about to be drowned in debt, with debt. Mm hmm Just as, what they say, just as the Lord giveth, he can take it away. Just as the Lord giveth, she can take it away. Somebody's about to be drowning in debt. And that's what it is. You have been saved. Somebody's... These people are about to be drowning in debt. They don't even have time to focus on you. 
Now they gotta focus on staying afloat. Now they gotta focus on really surviving. They thought that taking you out will help them survive, but no, 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 staying afloat. <laughs> it's gonna help you survive now. This is, this is what I'm hearing. So these people are gonna have to try to stay afloat, try to stay above the water because they're gonna be drowning in so much debt because of them going against an ancient order. <laughs> an ancient order that is awakening and, and, and coming online because it's time. Because it's time. Yeah, I feel like somebody, maybe somebody thought that you was an e easy target with this uh, nine of uh, wands that I just saw. Somebody thought that, you know, somebody, you know, they, they, what's the word? <laughs> they didn't think that you had the strength or the power to defeat or to get through whatever blockage. I feel like you made it through whatever blockage. You are one of God's strongest warriors. <laughs> one of the universes, one of mothers, one of, you are one of the strongest warriors here. Okay. I'm picking up on a masculine energy. Somebody here, they, it's like they're they trying to, they was trying to dethrone the masculine energy. These, these, it's, it's men that's tapped into their divine feminine energy, their calling, their, their intuition, their understanding, you know, their knowing. Their divine purpose that's being attacked just like these daughters of the water. Because they have contracts with the daughters of the water. You see how it, how it goes? Yeah, towers. Something about a tower. These people fear change. This is why they were attacking these daughters of the water. These people fear change. But now they're going to be facing their biggest fears. Because they were, uh, yeah, they were told to let go of negativity. They was told to let go of stress with this nine of swords in reverse. They was told to let go of whatever meant somebody was going through a mental battle. It was a it was a God complex. Somebody didn't understand mentally that you are God, but you are not the God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You are not the goddess. You know what I'm saying? You are not that. But you are that. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's 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 a uh, I don't know how to explain it, but you got to be able to see it. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel me? <laughs> this, mm -hmm. See, you have the you have the foresight. You can see. You you are the eagle eye prophet. The eagle eye prophetess. These daughters of the water can see far. Farther than anything else here. It's a spiritual sight. It's a spiritual nudge. It's a spiritual understanding. They can see. And, and I say it all the time. This place is more spiritual than it is physical. There's a lot more things going on that you cannot see that's going on. It's a lot more sounds that's taking place that you can't pick up on. Blow a dog whistle. You don't hear that. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta understand this place is very, very spiritual. It's beautiful. And that's why I feel like it's some type of integration that's happening. Because the upgrades is, is very spiritual. It's all 
in the brain, which is the computer. So these people, it's like these, these, these readers of the code, you know how like in the matrix, all the numbers, it's like somebody can, somebody's into numerology or something like that, but it's like something about numbers. It's something about you can see, you can understand, you can put together certain things. It's like you are daughters of the water and the water holds all the secrets. Thank you, mother. Water holds memory. Water knows everything. The water knows everything. Everybody wash. Well, you know, they supposed to, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just in the taking, you just taking a shower, talking. I water just that water just right there. Like, huh? What you say? <laughs> say it again. He did what? <laughs> water running back telling everybody. <laughs> that water running down the drain telling everybody. It's like, damn, all your business is in the water. All your business is in the water. <laughs> so all of the business in the world and of the world is in the water. And you know the water is here and above us. You know we in the water, right? We in the we in between the water. They separated the waters for us. They separated the waters for life, is what I'm hearing. I feel like somebody could be moving, traveling, going abroad. You know, um, I'm seeing that you're being, somebody's being called to different ley lines. Different sites. Yeah, I feel like somebody wanna, wanted to keep something going, but it's over. Somebody wanted to keep you in, in some type of cycle doing the same thing, but I'm, I'm picking up energetically. I, even this psycho girlfriend, boyfriend, keep you in some type of cycle just over and over and over again. It's like, yo, we're not. Like, what is the problem here? <laughs> it's like, what do you not understand? That somebody is not, their, their mind is not able to logically put together what's going on because of the delusion. The delusion is so great now. You know, we can laugh, you know, and all that other stuff, which is whatever, you know, human shit. But at the end of the day, it's still something that needs to be, you know, really taken care of. And like somebody who needs to take care of their health, they need to really take care of their mind, their brain, you know what I'm saying? While they still have, you know, a little bit of it. So I feel like this is what, you know, I, I don't know how the universe is making this clear. I don't know how, but I feel like something is about to be very made very clear because of, you know, the law or because of, you know, it's like some type of spiritual forces getting involved. You know what I'm saying? The water whispering people business to people in higher places. <laughs> People having dreams about different names, waking up researching shit. You know what I'm saying? Somebody said, oh, so, <laughs> sorry. I heard they want, this is message is specific, specific, specific there we go <laughs> i'm gonna get a g3 um when they are trying to stay afloat remember mommy water I feel like they want to blame these daughters of the water for their demises, but Mommy Water wanted to, Mommy Wata wants to take credit for her work. <laughs> Cause the ancient order is coming online. Da daily. 
Somebody's going higher daily, getting more daily, going deeper daily, getting more understanding daily. This is daily because this is what, you know, what you do. It's something about being sure about something. So I feel like there's some type of decision that is going to need to be made. Okay. I don't know. Something I'm hearing. Be sure. Be sure. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody, something, something required patience. And I feel like somebody is about to reach out because something required patience. But now some type of offer is being made to you. But let me tell you something about the Knight of Pentacles. Like when this, like when when the Knight of Pentacles is sure, they are sure. The Knight of Pentacles turns into the King of Pentacles. You know what I'm saying? And the King of Pentacles turns into the Emperor. So it's like the Knight of Pentacles want to be sure about the the decisions that they make, the the paths that they take. You know, they don't move too quickly which can be good and bad, you know what I'm saying? Because you can miss the ship, you know what I'm saying? You can, on the waters, right? You know, if you don't, if, if a ship is coming and, you know, you're supposed to be at a certain spot, a certain time when the ship get there and you're not there, now you got to wait for the next ship. Now you don't know when the next ship is going to come through. Now you're sitting there treading the waters, trying, it's like, it's, it's a lot. So it's like, you know, it's, it's good and bad to, you know, take your time and, and be wise, but it's like, be wise in that too, you know, and taking your time and, you know, be wise in that. Because, okay, there are things, you know, time limit. There's a time limit, right? <laughs> that, that's the thing, right? So, yeah, there's time, but there's also a time limit. So, you know, just that wisdom and how, and how you, and moving and how you move. But anyway, the Knight, of, the Knight of Pentacles is, like I said, very sure. So I feel like somebody is going to reach out to you that is very sure about something, okay? And I feel like, you know, it's something about crown chakra activation, elevation. Somebody made up their mind, you know, when it came to an earth angel, made up their mind. And I feel like it's so much deeper than I made up my mind and I want you to be my girlfriend and you're my boyfriend. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> why that voice? You know, why that voice? That's so funny. But um, and I feel like because that's what that's what society want to make certain things seem like. And certain things are like that. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like, you know, when it's when something is contracted, it's so much deeper. It's, 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 it's for the humanity. You know what I'm saying? It's like people are down here with contracts for humanity. I feel like, the, I don't know, is that an org? I don't know, I'm picking up on contracts for humanity. So I don't know what that is. So somebody could be starting something like contracts for humanity. But I just feel like there's contracts that's, taking place in the spiritual realm that people sign that that energies agree to and you know I just feel like that that stuff goes on you know what I'm saying just like we can think like that ain't going on the other side of it is that is going on you know so that's why this life is beautiful because it's really about a journey and you know, you can, you have both sides of the, of the coin to explore and, you know, and, you know, getting understanding and wisdom and, you know, elevation and ascension is the main things in love, you know, which is the ancestors, which is mother, father, you know, nature. So anyway, what I was saying just now? Yeah, just, 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 somebody's sure, okay? So, the so, and, you know, I feel like maybe you're going to have to make a decision, 
you know, I feel like something is going to be in your hands. Like the ball is in your court is what I'm getting with this. Okay, 49, 49 on the clock. So something is coming into alignment, all right, is what I'm picking up here. Okay, yeah, um, four swords in reverse, rejoining the world, coming out of isolation. So, yeah, then I say, like, these, these, these daughters of the water or these, uh, you know, even these errors. It's like people, these people were in isolation for a long time. But in this isolation period, it was war, it was training, it was, you know, unnecessary abuse. <laughs> that's why Zeus had to pull up. But it was a lot going on. And I feel like, you know, that's why the isolation and the loneliness and all of that was kind of very, was necessary. But it's something about rejoining the world or coming coming out in, in these energies, you know, coming together. But I feel like something about the ball being in, in your court. Okay. Um, so let's close it out because I'll be up here talking all day. Right? <laughs> it's already... 50.44 on the clock, like, damn, that's, I'm sorry, but let's close it out, thank you, G3, for being here, um, if you want to leave your girl a donation, all of my information is down below, we're going to close this message out, ah, you stay to the end, you got to give me a like, you know what I'm saying, if you stay all the way to the end, you got to give me a like, and you got to give me a subscribe, like, come on now, like, no, I mean, I still love you if you don't, you know what I'm saying, but you'll be back, <laughs> 51, 15 on the clock. Exactly. You'll be back. Uh-huh. So let's close it out, mother. <laughs> Thank you so much for the messages that has come through. Let's put some closing out messages for my G3 family. All messages for the highest good and for motion. What's going on? Let's close it out. Let's close it out. It's time to give rather than take. So it's time to, you know, um, and that's what I feel like. I feel like somebody had to really take time to give to themselves and rather than taking from other people. Somebody was so used to being around other people or needing other people or just needing that assurance or, that, you know, that reassurance or whatever, that validation, you know. And I feel like somebody had to, like, really pull back because the only validation that you need is yourself. Is the validation of mother, father, your ancestors. You know what I'm saying? And somebody had to see that. This is what I'm saying. Somebody is, is really sure about something because of the time that they have took to themselves. And, and I feel like it's, 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 you know, it's because of some type of ancient order. All right? Attuned to the divine. Yeah, somebody had to tune into the divine. Or it's time to just tune into the to the divine. Like, trust what you're being told. and what and Because I feel like some things are closing out. But things are closing out so new things can begin. And it's time for new things to begin. Old, let old things pass away. You know what I'm saying? It's time to let old things pass away. Something about this new moon. This new moon is bringing forth some type of new life. So this month, this new moon is is very significant. Very Yeah, new moon in Virgo, new moon in Pisces. Like, come on, this new moon for this month is going to be very significant, okay? Look at the bigger picture. I feel like, yeah, this, this new moon, like the bigger picture is what's going to really be, like, what really matters is what's going to be in the forefront of life okay let's get one more to close it out yeah because i feel like something is closing out and I, and I heard the waters have spoken that's what i just heard okay emotions are running high Ooh, super moon yeah i feel like whatever this new moon is going to be a super moon something about it's going to be super like the energy, the energy, the energy is going to be super. The, it's like people's emotions are going to be running high because the bigger picture. Look, see the bigger picture. Come on, because of the bigger picture. Ooh, people's emotions are going to be running high because the water is going to be drowning people. So this new moon thing, people are being drowned out, and and people are and and, and new things are being born, formed. Beautiful energy, G three. Make sure you focus on the bigger picture. I love you guys so much. And until next time, bye.